Right, let's get after it, guys. We're gonna talk about Doge for a moment as well. Because Doge, my friends, is zesty indeed. A lot of people maybe hate on Doge. I don't understand why. Doge, it could be looked at as a meme coin because it, it, it kind of is a little bit of a meme coin. It was started as a joke for sure. But as Elon says, the most, I, the most ironic outcome is probably the best outcome and the most likely. Now, I agree with that. Fate loves irony. Now, we do know Doge was in the 70 cent range for its all time high. Right now, we're currently sitting at 7 cent Doge sideways trading for a little while. That is okay. Because obviously Elon has plans for Doge. He thoroughly enjoys Doge. And he did say yesterday that it is his favorite cryptocurrency. And let's hear his reason why. Are you still a fan of crypto? Um, well, I... <laughs> I mean, I'm not advising anyone to buy crypto or bet the farm on, you know, Dogecoin or anything like that. Okay. Don't bet the farm on Dogecoin. <laughs> you might have been thinking, to. maybe you should, but let me advise you. That would be perhaps unwise. Um, okay. So, I, Dogecoin is my is my sort of favorite cryptocurrency because uh, it has the best humor and uh, has dogs. Um, um, I did, however, look at the price of it yesterday. It's um, it's lower than it was, I think. Well, I don't know, maybe, you know, you know, it's like a friend of mine has a saying that the most ironic explanation is the most likely. And the most ironic outcome for currency would be that the thing that was made at, uh, as, a, as a joke to make fun of cryptocurrencies, uh, most ironic outcome would become that it becomes the global currency. <laughs> okay, we'll wait and see. Final one. There's a lot to take away from there. Elon Musk. Said Doge is his favorite currency, cryptocurrencies, because it has the best humor. It has dogs. Which, why not? We love a good Doge. And that the most ironic outcome is the most likely. And that he sees Doge could maybe become the world's currency. Now that is something to think about. And something that a lot of people don't even consider when thinking about Doge. But if you really think about Doge and its fundamentals, it's its own blockchain. Dogecoin is seriously, actually decentralized, just like Bitcoin. You have to mine Doge. It's proof of work. Dogecoin, it's actually decentralized. It's a copy or it's basically a copy of Bitcoin's code, except that there is no finite supply like Bitcoin. It's merged mining with Litecoin. Also, it has a lot of security. Again, proof of work. If you mine Litecoin, you get Doge as a reward. If you mine Doge, you get Litecoin as a reward. So you have some, also some duality there. It's different than any other meme coin. It has potential as an actual currency, if you think about it. Done. But that, I thought this was really interesting because one thing that you know for sure is that Doge is actually feasible to use as a currency. Now, not only did Elon Musk say that he, not to bet the farm, but maybe you should, on Dogecoin, it is his favorite cryptocurrency. He also confirmed that he will be holding a Twitter Spaces with Ron DeSantis today with real-time questions and answers. My friends, take a look at this clip. In your time, I think it would be probably correct. Okay. Um, so, uh, yes, I um, will be interviewing um, Ron DeSantis, and he has a question an announcement to make um, and will be, be the first time that something like this is happening on social media and with uh, real-time questions and answers, uh, not, not scripted. Elon Musk is going to have Ron DeSantis on Twitter spaces today so that way he could announce something Ron DeSantis which people are speculating it's his run for president in 2024 and do a real-time Q&A with no script and real questions and real answers. This is all about truth. Now, if you look at Bitcoin cryptocurrency, that is truth. That is every transaction that's ever been out there is on the Bitcoin blockchain. And the same for Doge. And Doge is decentralized. And we know, Elon Musk has said, we need an answer to the financial system. We need an answer to freedom. And that is cryptocurrency. And that is Twitter. We're going to see how this works out. <laughs>